Love. Yes, sir. We live now, man. Uh, another <laughs> episode. R.E.O.P. This nigga couldn't wait to talk in the mic, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. <laughs> Y'all already know who it is. Your boy Omar Black. Um, happy to be here, honestly. Um, yes, sir. Yeah, I might have to put that footage on the Patreon. This nigga's just been talking shit for 30 days straight. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we was live a long time ago. <laughs> I want to be, be able to sit back, you know. Okay. Man, you can yeah, move can the mic it. around. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think it's worth it. No, no, no. You can move it, like, yeah, yeah, closer. Yeah, yeah. You sound like you whispering out of. Uh, All right, bro. Don't say that. <laughs> we, don't that, we, say that. Is, is there any bro. rules of the podcast? You can't curse or you can't be. That's a great rule. I'm that's joking. a crazy rule. Like, <laughs> they gonna cancel joking. your ass. You know yeah, what? they cancel hey, cancel you, him. You can be gay. No, okay. <laughs> I think it's some nice artists up there. You wanna have Lil X on this bitch? It's time. Yeah, yeah. Lil X will go crazy on you. You gonna tell him you can't. Be gay. Shout out yeah. to uh, Saucy Santana. Oh, Saucy Santana actually go hard. Pause. Get him on here. Saucy right. Santana. Right, <laughs> Pause. Right. Hey, we don't need to get too far off topic. <laughs> I don't know if this will Reintroduce be. yourself. This yeah, we're going to start this episode <laughs> over, man. Uh, time stamp. <laughs> 120. 120. We starting off at 120. What's good? It's your boy Omar Black. Happy to be here at the ROAP. R A O P. Right there on the wall. You dyslexic, you know. No, I am dyslexic. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> you something? Hey, start this shit at one thirty nine. It's your boy Omar Black in the house. You know what I'm saying? Here to bless the people. Yes, sir. My first interview. So let's get it. Damn, man, that's crazy, man. So you. I'm, 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 I'm glad to have you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad for this to be your first interview and. um and and you know we have the honor of doing it yeah first time you fought with us you the cameraman now you out here making music bro. yeah i actually bring a little bit of camera equipment just in case <laughs> uh, i mean oh just in case but, but i'm gonna look around i'm like yeah these boys done stepped it up to the these boys I on mean, the next level in this bitch. you know what i'm saying i need to start shooting like other shit. y'all might as well start doing camera work you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah, we're gonna talk about it man we just Nigga, time. we we too busy now. Yeah, I was gonna okay, say. Okay. I see the rugs yeah. in the cut. You know what I mean? Yeah, playing video Y'all highlight your boy plug with the rug. You know what I mean? Quickly. Right, the real plug. <laughs> the real plug. All right, oh, matter of fact, Taraj, you got you a rug, right? Yes, yes, I did get a rug, a custom rug. Was never actually posted on the official page, but it's all right. <laughs> 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 oh, that nigga mad. Nah, that's funny. I was, I was, I was, I was <laughs> I'm joking. My dog called me You know because. <laughs> way back but oh yeah yeah my bad my bad okay. it's on my black you know what i'm saying it's on my black in this bitch yeah i'm about to say man who to ride bro who is yeah. to ride? professional hey matter of fact yeah shit. they thought this nigga was a hot wheel at first <laughs> when i first met him uh fix your bike <laughs> ain't nobody how uh ain't nobody know how to pronounce his name to uh ain't nobody know how to pronounce his name you know what i'm saying so I think they was calling him Hot Rod at first when uh, I first met him. I guess he was from them crackers. Yeah. Them crackers be tripping, but I don't know why he joined in on that shenanigans. Man, I ain't joined in with that shit. <laughs> I just thought it was funny as hell. They kept saying, yeah, Hot Rod is, Hot Rod is going to do it. I was like, who the fuck is Hot Rod? Like, I had been on the crew for like six months at this what time. Kind, what kind of crew is that? Oh yeah, we was scaffolding, man. Yeah, we was uh <laughs> man, I hated yeah. that shit, boy. I'm still doing it. Yeah, this yeah. Day. This nigga a beast with it too. But um, yeah, man, them crackers definitely thought they was calling him hot rod. I was like, nigga, is it a <laughs> set? Hey, I'm still laughing. He was like, man, why you joining with the crackers? Bro? <laughs> bro. You're supposed to be on my side. <laughs> like, I know I ain't know you, but you ain't know them, you ain't know them either. Bruh, I ain't joined in. <laughs> the first time I met this nigga, I was like, bruh what is your name like i made it a point to like get his name clearly because they kept calling him hot rod <laughs> my name is omar omar black. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so omar, yeah to omar. those of y'all out there it's omar black yeah yeah that's actually my middle name by the way omar so that's what's up that's why you fuck it. and where the black come from you know what i'm saying that was the pride or black pride i could uh, uh, yeah we're gonna rock with that yeah, yeah okay now nah, my last name is white you was I ain't want to be Omar White. Man. Yeah, you can't be Omar White, bro. Can't be. And then they um somebody already named Omar B L A C K, so I just had to shorten it. 
Damn, I feel that. That's where we at. Yeah. I feel oh, that. Shit, I respect that, man. Straight up. So let's get um get into your background, man. Where you from? I'm originally from uh, North New Jersey, but I, I lived in Virginia for about 10 years, and I've been down here for about 12, so shit. I've been all over the East Coast, up and down. All right, what made you come down here? Uh, my mom moved out here. She wanted to chase some niggas. No, it's fine. <laughs> 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 no, no, it ain't like that. But um, yeah, I moved down here with my mom. I was 17. So I, I damn near grew up uh Jacksonville. I feel like my mic's still going in and out. I, nah, I, you good, nah. I was yeah, working good, appropriately. Good, good. I want to make sure this footage is, you know, well documented. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, this nigga say he is special. Every time, every time. Hey, Amen. All right. So well, yeah, no bad, bro. Your mom was chasing a nigga. Yes, that's the last thing that I said. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I've been down here since I was about 17, and really, um, I'm acquainted with the Jacksonville scene. I, I pretty much grew up here, so I'm from Jacksonville, I like to say. Yeah. All right, so anytime anybody asks you where you from, really just- Oh, I'm gonna say Jersey all day. I ain't never say gonna Jersey. I'm from Jacksonville, even though I just said it. Damn, bro, what's crazy? I fuck with Jacksonville, though. I don't fuck with Jersey. That's no, nah, I'm joking, bro. The Jersey is dirty from what I hear, though. I heard the same thing from a lot of niggas from Florida. <laughs> but Florida got the most mud in the whole United States, so who? where is the real dirty? I mean, shit, you in the swamp, bro. That's dirty. Nah, bro. That's that's an environment. It's swampy out there, nigga, in the parking lot. It yeah. ain't like that in my life. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's trash up there. Yeah, I ain't never like, I ain't never chilled in Jersey before. I always like pass by if I'm like in Philly or some shit. Like that nigga that. be like, it stinks here. Off the rip. Okay. <laughs> hey, Jersey niggas, y'all, when y'all see this nigga Joe, man, <laughs> slap that nigga in the slap back of the head. Hey, man. Yeah. Slap him up, eh? Do what you gotta do. Ain't how they talking. About. <laughs> nah, I'm bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, since you've been in Jax, man, what's out of town? What side of town you been on? What side I'm, of town you claim? I'm not gonna claim a side of town. That was kind of extra. But um, I do be on the south. I've been on the south most of the time. I live on the north right now, way up top. Gotcha, gotcha. I be duck though. Gotcha. What side of town you claim? South side. I'm south side superstar. Okay, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? What about you? That's you what too? Yeah, name rain bills out there. Yeah, you know what I mean? right. Awesome. I heard about you actually a couple times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The plug. You know, it used to be a lot of other shit back in the day, you know what I mean? But now we just a rule, plug. <laughs> uh, that ain't it. That ain't it. Yes, sir. What's All right. The, yeah. So, <laughs> how did, how did, no, I need to know. Look, how does it be like? What, what, uh, how, do, how do interviews usually go? How does it be? Well, I've been chilling. What yeah, you I mean. Flow? Go with the flow, man. Yeah. So we gonna get the we 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 gonna get our our listeners more familiar with you today. You know what I'm saying? What kind of listeners? Male, female, some, I mean. Got some all over. No. Got some seen Saucy Santana night. listeners. It is some of them. Gay's not alive, the first thing you said. <laughs> <laughs> you act like the baby for real. <laughs> Man, they know I be joking. <laughs> they said, fuck that demo. <laughs> <laughs> they know we cool. <laughs> all right, so like, how did you get into music? Because like, the first time I met you, Joe said this nigga about to come through. He said the nigga. He ain't say your name. I was like, damn, where's bro name? Uh, he said yeah. this nigga about to come through with a camera. <laughs> right, right. I got you, I got you. Take some pictures and some videos. <laughs> I was like, bet. Right. See, I wanted him to introduce himself. You know what I'm saying? Like he was making his transitions and shit. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. From Tarad, oh my black. You know what I mean? I ain't want to introduce this nigga as oh my white. That ain't none of that ain't. <laughs> <laughs> So how did you transition from music, from the video directing yeah. or videography mm -hmm. to music? Yeah, I mean, I really didn't ever transfer over. I do my own, um, I do my own art, cover art. I do, I shot my own video already, one on 2021. So, I mean, I didn't really transfer over. I still do videography. I had a production company. I'm an entrepreneur. Um, doing the music, I really been, I've been freestyling for a minute. I've been forever. I've been freestyling. You, and back in the day, I was the rawest freestyler. But I tell a nigga like, if you sitting down writing your raps, that's that's lame. Like you you doing that to impress somebody, or you you know what I'm saying? It's it's a clout chasing type shit. So I ain't really wasn't into really making music, but I did make music. So now you lame. Based. Now nah, you know what? <laughs> that's a good point. Nah, but, I don't hey, like I, I don't said, joke. if you write it down, I ain't never write. I ain't never write a word down. Everything everything that I. All my music is all in my head. I just remember it, so 
I didn't start writing. I'm basically freestyling and putting that bitch on the beat. So yeah, we gonna, we gonna call it that. Cause I got I got 50, 60 songs in my head right now. Probably 30 complete. Other half still working on them actively. I, I, I'll write a song. It might take me six months to write a song cause I wrote the hook. Who knows when and fucking forgot about it and then come back. Next thing you know, I'm right into that bitch. So. If anybody feel you, I feel you. Boy, what's that, a 40 you got over there? Ain't no 40s down here. That's why I like Jersey, because we yeah, can I have I thought a, you took a trip I, to damn Georgia to get that. <laughs> 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 this nigga done brought a 38 ounce. <laughs> I mean, the, the ain't no hood gas station, right? Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no little single in the ice or nothing. So I, I couldn't. None of that. I had to get this. This is the only, I, unless I got a can. Yeah, yeah I'm about to say, bro, that's the biggest Heineken I ever seen in my life. <laughs> my nigga like, like cap. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never I seen a nigga see drink a, a Heineken. Is this normal deep. for an interview or what? Like, I'm sitting here. I got to sit with these niggas I ain't 30, never, 40. We got liquor over there. Look, I ain't never seen a nigga drink a Heineken that big. That's what I'm saying. Like, niggas drink Budweiser, you know what I'm what saying? Shit like yeah. that. You nah, we don't drink Budweiser now. Oh, Budweiser good, man. That's the one thing. That's a redneck beer. Hey man, shut the fuck up. Jackson, every nigga in Jacksonville <laughs> drink Bud Light. And don't y'all drink Bud Light? I don't like Bud Light. I really Thank don't. Drink, I will drink a Bud Light, but if I like, had to drink a beer, if I'm gonna drink Bud Light, that bitch gotta be platinum. I really don't fuck with beer like that. If I had to drink beer, I'd probably drink a Bud Light. I'd probably drink a Corona, baby. No, I can't do Corona, man. Them things leave that nasty ass aftertaste. Not the Heineken. Nah, Heineken straight. All right. Good night. Man. That's just a big ass Heineken, nigga. I won't bring it up in the camera again. <laughs> nah, <laughs> do, do your thing, man. Nah, Shit, I it, I it might block your view. That big ass Heineken. I like the colors. I think when you cool. done, it's okay to bust the bottle. Over All the right. Head. All right, this nigga in the wrestling and shit. So this <laughs> is <gonna see. laughs> for an object. Right, <laughs> yeah, that, you know what? We should set a show. You know, we come in. You doing a you doing a podcast and the nigga coming and do some real wrestling shit. Oh, nigga just shit. reenact that shit. Nigga hey, just hit Joe at with a bottle. Boom. Hey, First quarter. Hey, All that shit you was talking about, Jersey table, niggas. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And then you just up them up. Yeah, wasn't the, the uh, Dudley boys from Jersey? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, nah, they're from Dudleyville. Oh, okay, okay. Come on, bro. You think Dudleyville in Jersey? That's some Florida, <laughs> some Florida <laughs> shit. That's a Florida ass city right there. Nah, bro. Nah, Dudleyville. Bro. Anything with Ville is like, Florida. The nigga, he looked like he was a Jersey nigga, bro. No, he didn't. What nigga? Who? Who? <laughs> uh, whatever Dudley. Nah. It was like twenty of them niggas. Yeah, well, shit. Yeah, they deep. from Jersey then. Shit. If there was twenty deep like that. Let me right. let me you find right. which one it was. If you can't pull it up, I'm short, dead. Oh, no, no. short Dudley. Oh, talking about Spike Dudley. There you go. The little one. Yeah. yeah. The little one. <laughs> what is this? A Jackson Five or wrestling or some shit? Yeah, it was like twenty of them. They got a, like, they got a, a sister too. I think they did have a sister. Typical. But it was like twenty it was like twenty white dudes and like one black dude, Devon Dudley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Devon. <laughs> um they, it's funny because they are close to <laughs> Jersey though. They from Providence, Rhode Island. Oh, yeah, so they, that's, they, that's they really, country really, cousins. Really close. You know what I'm saying? Say, is that that's really, close really close. Real? That's like I mean, Louisiana's close to here then. Yeah. yeah. You know, more yeah. or less. So what? <laughs> Oh, this nigga Joe say anything, boy. Hey man, that's why you yeah you was participating with that crack ass hot rod shit. <laughs> <laughs> I still think that, that was a reason. That nah, was a but it was always a joke to me. <laughs> shit, anytime this nigga get to talking shit, all right, I pull out a hot wheel on your ass. I didn't, you gotta, under, I didn't understand the joke. Man, shit. Now yeah. I get it. Finally. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Like I get it. Fifteen years later, basically, right? <laughs> I mean, I thought you was in on the shit. You just wasn't cool enough. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this nigga crazy. What they used to call you, Joe? Nigga, nigga knew not to play with my name. Oh, yeah, hey, it's Joe. They ain't call you Joe Schmo or some shit. None of that. They ain't come up with no corny. Joe name, Blow. Man. None of that shit. It probably was. I would have hit. Probably was one person that called me hot right now. I think it was an old ass. Nah, bro. It was, a, <laughs> it was Mr. Turner. Yeah, that's the only person. Boy, Mr. Turner had. It was one person. This motherfucker was 76 doing a scaffolding, bro. And yeah, you was man. listening to some shit he had to say. Man, fuck no, bro. What was his name with the uh with the knot on his face? You know what I'm talking about. Bro had a big ass knot on his face, bro. Like, 
<laughs> and I don't like to talk about it, but it that was, bit, that shit was, was that shit was inevitable. Yeah, yeah he, nah, he was seventy oh, for nah. sure. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Turner, nah, nah, that's, nah, nah he was something. Nah. He was doing that shit for the. Love and he of the fell game. on his motorcycle one day and came to work. We all like, hey, bro, you might need to go to the hospital. <laughs> that boy used to do the moves. Yeah, okay, okay, it was not okay. It was not okay what he was doing out there. First day, I, first day I came to work, this nigga was. It was a 16 hour day, 14 hours into it, this nigga was laid out on the floor, mouth wide open. I was, the fuck? It was my first day, I didn't know what was normal. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean. Hey, you ever seen a dehydrated dog? Yeah. That's what Mr. Turner looked like. Lips would be white. Yeah, like for real, white, bro. Yeah, I would've had, oh, like, bro, you need to retire, motherfucker. Yeah, just drink you, up. You think, you think nobody ain't telling that? I'm, sure, <laughs> I'm pretty I'm sure, sure every, 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 every day. Seen that nigga told I'm me. pretty sure if you had a wife, you like, you don't have to do this no more every morning. I know, that nigga was living in his van. Nah, yeah, he ain't had no wife, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe that nigga had to work. That Yaku had to work. I don't know, man, I hate to see it. I hate to see them Yakus going out like that. <laughs> no, I don't, what? Um, so yeah, man. How long have you been taking music seriously now? Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've been. <laughs> this shit done turned to a regular episode of R.E.O.P. Oh, that what I feel like. That what I feel like. That's exactly what I feel like. That's why I was asking. Like, what's normal in this bitch for real? I ain't really with that. Uh, I ain't with that regular rapper shit. You see, I'm, I got the cardigan on. You know, so expect expect some different shit from me. What would you define as like regular rapper shit? I, just like I think, just like I explained it a little bit before, like how I felt like niggas are just trying too hard. It just it's just a clout chasing type thing. Like they just doing what's what they feel is acceptable and what's cool. Like you're a grown ass man and you don't really got your own type of nothing. Like nigga, just you know what I'm saying. So that's the, t the to me the typical right now is a nigga that's just doing exactly what you expect them to do. Yeah, I feel like the rappers they got the aesthetic because some people they just rap just for the look, like. Yeah, they exactly. rap for the little ass chain with the big ass charm, the whatever, the skinny jeans, whatever, right. the Amiri, all that shit. It's just like a rapper look. I yeah. think people just rap just just to do that shit, just to have a big ass knot, some money, all that shit. Exactly, and that's exactly why I was used to say, you know, I'm the best freestyler, but I ain't fucking with the way that y'all, you know, what, what y'all feel y'all doing or what how y'all define yourself as a rapper. And yeah, that shit, it, it, I ain't I ain't really here to chase clout. It's more about art. I'm into creating art. Right. Um, you know, my albums, they're gonna be stories, they're gonna be themed. Everything I put out is gonna make some type of sense. I'm I'm a I'm a dress up as a different character or whatever it may be just to tell some type of story. Cause just like um just like with I still do the videography. I'm a director, I'm a storyteller. That's just it's all it all goes together. Um eventually I plan to be, you know, directing movies in Hollywood. So just rapping shit is just a Mainly it's a hobby. I just love to make music. I love the art form, but it's also, it's a business. It's an opportunity, a business opportunity. It's a business venture. And also it could open doors and get me in front of the right people and seeing, cause I feel like I got the potential. So yeah, it's, a, it's a lot into it to, to make it make sense for me to actually invest myself into it, put money into it and whatever I have to do, I had to make it make sense. Cause I mean, I'm an entrepreneur first. I, I got a mobile detail and I got a cleaning service. I got my um, my videography, my production company. I do wedding video. I I I, fuck, I, I just fixed somebody's car last week, a couple hundred dollars. So I just I do whatever it, it takes to make bread. I mean, streaming potentially can make you a lot of money. So is is that too? That's some real shit. Yeah, so. so you mentioned uh, being different characters and such. Came in dressed as a waiter today. Tell us about nah, that. Nah, this that man. This that. <laughs> Waiters don't wear express, man. He pants like sixty dollars for your pants. Nah, I mean, this I'm that fucking with shit. you, this man. That, I'm this fucking with you. This t-shirt, nigga. This a white tee, nigga. White tee called Farrah. You know what I'm saying? This that moisture with. Man, you had to drop the forty ball on that bitch. It is Chris to my side. This ain't no regular tee. It is. Nah, it's nah. like a. It's like a. It's like thirty for a three pack. You know? Okay, okay. You spent that bread. My girl got it for me. Amen. She just ordered them bitches. She Amen. Needs, you need some new tees. I like she that got classic pants, man hat too. Yeah, this uh, this came from Target. Yeah, Target got that good shit. If you want to just dress a little classy, I mean, straight up, good. you know, I put yeah, on the door man. now. Oh yeah, I know you would. Yeah, I know you yeah. would. Yeah, I was expecting you to wear dress up. I get ready to podcast. That's why I was saying I wanted to do the interview like a little 
personal interview, but I'm, I'm glad. I thought I wasn't going to go intercepted on the show. So I wanted you to put the suit on. It's like, you know, I done seen you clean up a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would have been the only nigga not dressed up because I ain't dressed up like nobody. <laughs> nigga, I ain't dressing up like anybody. No, no suit. Yeah, I just, when I get married, nigga, you gonna have to, bro. I ain't you allowing your ass on stage in a black tee. Or a sweatsuit. <laughs> nah, but if yeah, you get his outfit, it's a sweatsuit. <laughs> that bitch match, nigga. Top bottom. Nigga said, Man, tuck bull, it in. Fuck out of here. This nigga walk in with some slides on and shit. <laughs> he ain't say slide. He said sweatsuit. Like, uh, now you can present the rings. This nigga come shuffling up. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Hey, oh, he's man. sliding. <laughs> <laughs> Dragging right. his feet and shit. Like, they ain't gonna stop you from getting married, nigga. Like, I ain't, hire, me, hire me for the video, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, now nah, this that nigga in a sweatsuit, we, get we ain't getting no footage. <laughs> <laughs> I get that sound. That shit, that shit a myth. <laughs> this nigga pulled up in my... Hey. But nah, um... So nah, man. Um, you know, let's talk about this, man. Uh, what, what, what? When did you realize like you wanted to do some like R and B, rock, and different genres and such? Cause I don't really know. That's a good question. That's a good question. Um, I don't really know when I realized it. Basically, just put on a beat and that bitch was vibing. I guess I listened to enough music in my time to just. I gotta move this mic. My bad. You could you get comfortable. Good. Oh, it's Southern hospitality ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Don't make me start throwing them bows. <laughs> nigga said he was listening to Ludacris in 2000. Yeah, I was, club. I was somewhere. Yeah, throwing so, bows. Just guess how old he is. About <laughs> 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 forty. Bro, this nigga funny man. <laughs> hey, ask that. You can ask me the question again. I don't want to. <laughs> When did you realize that you know you wanted to do like your R and B and the rock, <laughs> do different genres? You know what I'm saying? That's funny. Yeah. How tall was you at that point? <laughs> you know, it's funny. I felt like I used to want to do R and B when I was like 11, 12. I was like, Nah, this shit lame. Ho ass niggas do R and B. So, <laughs> I Bruh. killed that dream a long time who ago. Was, like, who this was nigga lame? shit on every. Thing he he came out to be this nigga was like no, hey, you a green wild. ass nigga for writing raps like All making right. songs and shit that's nigga how, nigga niggas that's niggas essentially what you were saying was bro like that's how it was back in the day like R and B niggas was considered a corny niggas but exactly. yeah, R and B yeah. was fire but like niggas yeah. to listen to it and still you know you, you had to be good at R and B for a nigga to not think you was pussy yeah. and it wasn't all. Nah, you still, they still think you pussy. Yeah, no matter still how you oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You think, yeah. you think Michael Jackson tough? Oh, nigga. You think Chris Brown hold up, tough? Hold up, hold up. It's actually, it's jo actually rumors Jodeci niggas Michael be. Jackson had them hands, bro. I mean, that's fine and dandy, they but Michael that nigga Jackson was a GD. They used to say Michael Jackson <laughs> was beat. none of that. Yes, <laughs> hey, hey. Ain't nobody said that shit. They say that nigga <laughs> good in the hood, bro. <laughs> they got some pics to prove it. <laughs> I know, Mike. Yeah, man. So, yeah, the, I did think about that arm. I'm at like, man, this nigga, these niggas get them hoes for real. These niggas got them hoes. But That nigga say, man, I'm finna do it. But I killed that dream, and then I, I turned around and um, just, okay, so the question is, <laughs> when did I start this trying to do different retarded, genres? Man. Basically, just, <laughs> <laughs> basically, uh, I got a fucking business call. <laughs> <laughs> I got a goddamn business call on my other phone. All right, guys. Yeah, so basically, I mean, just listening to different beats. I yeah. got a funk song. As soon as a funk song come on, I just start writing to that motherfucker. So it's just, it just in me. I yeah. listen to music. I buy with all type of shit. Who so knows? not everybody has that same confidence to be able to, you know, take on those genres and such. Um, anything that that like worked in your favor anything that you feel like you do different yeah what i do different is really don't give a fuck about what everybody thinking what everybody think is the right way or what you should do was was wrong i'll just do what the fuck i want to do that's some real somebody shit. gonna fuck my shit. I, don't really, I really don't give a fuck. that's some real shit. So just do whatever whatever i fuck with i fuck with all type of shit. i'm feeling like i'm about to start writing a rock album soon I got a couple raw ass rock. I hooks. told you you might you I'm might like, need damn. to, bro. You tell me that. Yeah, Just, you. Oh, based off that depths of hell, right? Depths, of, yeah. That's a uh, for the love of money. Yep. 
Yep. Yeah, that and uh you got another one on there. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, them two. Exactly. Yeah, you could build around that, but Yeah, so I'm shit, I'm in the mood to just do that. Like I said, I got a country song. It ain't really oh, I don't know if I told you that I got a country song. The bitch ain't really like ye hog country, but it's just like some old western type shit. It's just but it's some thug. I told you that I'm it's upset some thug about shit. That. Nah, you gonna you gonna fuck with my shit harder than whatever fucking song you started singing. That <laughs> song know, might be bro. more country ish, but the song I'm finna drop, that bitch finna hit you more. Like, damn, this shit. How the fuck did a nigga write this shit? Oh, I got another country song. Ride him like a cowgirl. I'm gonna put a uh, I'm put a raw ass bitch on that shit. That song gonna go stupid. That song gonna go dumb. I, I wanna I ain't gonna lie, I wanna put um K, K million on that bit. I wanna put K million on that bit. I'm gonna reach out to her, let her hear it, try to fucking let her hear her to do whatever. Chameleon, cause it's a nigga named K million. Oh yeah, I don't wanna put him on that <laughs> hey, Yeah, I, cause I wanna put I wanna put chameleon on that motherfucker. I got a song, I got a song for you, Chameleon. I'm a um, I'm a DM you that bitch. You gonna you gonna see this interview one day, whenever you gonna see that DM. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have on that bitch. That shit gonna go stupid. <laughs> Ride him like a cowgirl. That bitch hard. I fuck with that shit. shit That's we why might I, have to, we might have to clip that for the IG. Add her in the shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, hey, add her in that motherfucker. I ain't sing it again for it, man. I'm gonna sing it right here. Look, ride him like a cowgirl. Mm. Ride on like a cowgirl. Got my time, don't waste it. Don't forget your training. Don't you dare slow down, girl. Let's go like this. I say, yee ha. She like the way that I feel. She say, I got a big deal, pickle. She wanna cook me a meal dinner. She said, she tired of these little niggas. She said, she tired of these young boys. I hit her out with a smirky, yo. She do a little dance at that do si do. She do a little trick with that ropey rope. Don't tie me up, I tie you up. I swear she trained for the rodeo. The way it's up, the way it's stuck, the way it's up, the way you stuck, the way you up, the way you stuck, the way you up, the way you pump, 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 let's get it. She run my dick like mechanical bull. I can't just bit back and bull. I might just sit back and bull. I did be grabbing on you, I did be smacking on you. And she said, Who this abalone to? It's mine. She put that large in the spine, dropped all the way down, proceeded to grind. She told me I'm hitting the spot. I ain't doing the thing, you just keeping me rock. I want hand on one and one hand in the sky, little bit in on ride. So shit like that, that shit goes through. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, when you that hit a beat, when you hit a country <laughs> beat on that bitch, that shit sound crazy with the beat. So. <laughs> All right, Camille, hop on that shit. Yeah, yeah. I just had to go ahead and just perform the whole thing. So she got to hit up. I'm gonna get, that, right, I'm gonna get the clip to it. I'm gonna record that ASAP. That's what I, I'm one of my next songs. I'm gonna record so I can start trying to send it out. I like yeah, got some time to um, sit when this album drop next week. Are you dropping the album next week? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I've been dropping every Thursday for the last month. I dropped two singles to two, two last Thursdays. That's not on the album. And then just today, because today Thursday, I dropped another single. Um, it's called Need You Back. And uh, the album dropped next Thursday. Uh, what date is it? I'm sorry. It's it's April 14th, which is going to be the official breakup day. You know, April, I mean, February 14th, that's Valentine's Day. April 14th, the official breakup day. I got some promotion uh, to um, push that agenda. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and um, say he trying to push the agenda. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a little agenda. I be trying. I be trying to plan everything through. Like I'm really, I'm really like in next year. This out. The crazy thing about this album is um, sit back real quick. <laughs> my big ass um, Heineken. But yeah, the crazy thing about this album is I uh, I, I started recording this shit. Uh, what it was December 2020. Finished recording the whole album February, maybe maybe March. So the basically the product that you're getting is the same product from last year. And I had Buddy was supposed to mix it. I don't know about this mic. I feel like that should be going in or not on me. Nah, you you good? You good, bro? Mm -hmm. We fit. We fixing in post. Yeah, I had um the engineer that that recorded it. He was working at a studio downtown. He fucked around and had got into some shit with them. He ended up leaving. Like the date I had uh, a date scheduled to record the last song, and he had quit that same day. Mm. So I had um, I put that on hold. I had recorded No Hook that same day with a different engineer because the studio just gave me the time. All right. So I got a project called No Hook. I just it was a whole bunch of I got a notebook. And I just picked some some verses that a song that wasn't finished, some verses, and I just told him to pick some beats. When I found a beat that matched, I just went and hopped in there. We had recorded that thing in one night, and 
and um, so the album kind of went on hold. But he was like, yeah, I'm going to get some studio time. I'm going to get a studio set up. I'm going to go over here, do this, do that. He fuck around. He fuck around and went. Uh, he went on tour. He had went on tour with D. Watkins. D. Watkins had went on tour with uh, Rod Wave. So Buddy had went on tour with D. Watkins. And uh, he was telling me, yeah, I'm going to mix some mix. I just need some time, blah, blah, blah. So we was talking for a minute. And I think about January, he just stopped, he just stopped responding to me. So the whole, I, I was going to re-record it. I just... It's hard because I'm just I'm already so far, I'm past so far that, past yeah. that shit. I don't even want to. I don't even want to re- re- redo that shit. I'm like, you know, this shit. It sounds good enough. I ain't even gonna try to be a perfectionist and add all this stuff. But I had I had send them files. I got background vocals that need to be added. Um, a lot of the songs, the beat needed to be changed to a beat that um my homeboy made. Right. So I ain't had to get the beat off the YouTube because I recorded on a YouTube beat, which I mean it's fine. I'm dropping like that. I just paid a YouTube producer, which right. I, I didn't do yet. But um, but yeah. So I'm, I would, I just like fuck it. I'm gonna drop the whole. I'm gonna drop the shit I'm mixed. Yeah, it's it's pre mixes. Everything I sent, everything from the album. It's a it's a ten song album. Three of them is interludes with other other people that just they talking and shit. Yeah. But um, it's broke. It's broken to three parts. That's what the three interludes for chapter one, two, three. It's a the name of the album is a breakup story. Um, the Chronicles. So the three part, the Chronicles is like maybe three emotions that a, of a nigga after he break up, like probably be sad and then you kind of mad about it. Then you just like fuck this bitch and you out. So that's just how it's broke down. Right. First, first three songs is the, you know, kind of some sad shit. And then it kind of start getting a little like, uh, fuck this shit. And then at the end, it's it's more, it's a couple like dance songs and shit. So it's a little, it's a little story to tell. So. So you mentioned that, uh, like you say, you so far ahead, so far past it. Do you mind if we play uh, one of the records that you know? Can we get? Can we drop a R R A O P exclusive? What the, what you got? What you got? What you got? I want to play Blind Man for the people. Okay, yeah, Blind Man. That's that's coming off my second album called Genres, and um, it's gonna be the reggae song on that bitch. I got multiple, like I keep talking about multiple different genres on that bit. Yeah. So that's gonna be the reggae song on that bit. And yeah, yeah, play that motherfucker. I need to sit back and goddamn like this January. Yeah, this shit shocked me when I heard it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, turn right on some different shit. What was your What was your actual response when you called me? What you told me? I told you that shit hard as hell. Nah, you said, "Oh, you an island boy." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the first yeah, thing yeah, that nigga yeah. said. <laughs> I'm cooking dinner at the it. crib, and I ain't. <laughs> I ain't expect that response. I forgot. But okay. I say, yeah, this nigga island boy. Don't you slow man. I man, don't trust no man. A man can be blind, don't trust no man. Even if he can see. Wise man, don't trust no man. Why not Tennessee, little boy, bro? Then the skies is grown, man. That then loaded, like third eye open. Don't lose focus. Wise men tend to move with caution. Bad men stalking. Bad man watching your head up on your shoulder, stay up on your pivotal. One false move, this shit could be pivotal. I ain't going back and forth, I don't do no give and go. I know my position, need to play your role. I'm a man on a mission, need to watch my throne. I was made for this. All the fucking time I spent a slave for this. All the fucking lions had a slave for this. You gon' feel my love, my rage, my bliss. You gon' catch my slugs if you take my kindness for granted. Young man, so rock hard like granted. Blind man could not understand this vision. Wise man will not share his vision with the snakes in the grass. And you live in the city full of crowds, got some niggas try to hold you back And that's why Wise men, don't trust no man Wise mouth Tennessee, little boy bro them Disguise as grown men, that didn't know the third eye open Don't lose focus, wise men tend to move with caution Bad men stalking, bad men watching Yeah, that shit hard, I fuck with that shit Fuck with that That's why, that's why I feel like I gotta keep making different shit because Niggas vibe with so much different type shit. Like niggas ain't don't just vibe with one type shit. I'm trying to catch. I'm trying to catch the whole world for real. So yeah, I, I fuck with. It. I like. I like listening to my damn self. Y'all got the, these these headphones, bro. Them bitches. I had a nigga vibing, bro. <laughs> that shit hard as fuck. Yeah, that shit hard. That shit hard as fuck. I nigga. appreciate y'all. Boy. What you got for the vision for that one? You just gonna drop it or? Yeah. So I mean, you know, like I said, that's 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 pushed out. I need to. I need to finish writing the whole album, the whole genres album, get a, and get a layout on it, get all my features. Cause that one, I got um, somebody to hop on that, but a Jamaican artist, that one got a feature, need to get done. 
I need I need to f- just finish lining out the album and I'll figure out like what I'm gonna do over there. You sound like one of them British Jamaicans though. That's I mean, that's, hey, <laughs> that's why I gotta put a real. I ain't no roster nigga, right, so I right, gotta put right. a real roster on that bit. When right. he hop on that bit, he gonna yeah, set yeah, the whole gonna, mood. Man, look, that shit, that shit like, hard, boo. bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> Green ass nigga. He been waiting to use it. Why? Why is the green ass nigga sound on the green button? Like this nigga can't get rid of this. <laughs> you hit that bitch so much. That's the only faded button on the goddamn machine. Yeah, we bro, hit that, that shit, shit go too crazy. Time. <laughs> it's time. Nah, to, it's time shit. to put a new sound on there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, ladies, if y'all think he should put a new sound on there, maybe we should have some ladies screaming on that motherfucker. Ladies scream. It ain't Green shit. ass nigga. He better play that bitch again. Y'all gonna have to. <laughs> y'all gonna have to record yourself and send it in. You know what I'm saying? Record yourself and send it in the ROAP. R-A-O-P. Like I'm it, dyslexic, like bro. Hey, this is the third. I be telling like myself say, it's, R- it's it's on the wall. Look, record yourself and send that bitch to r a o p at gmail dot com. Random <laughs> acts of podcast. You if go. you get this shit fucked up one more time, you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on the green button, nigga. Put that guy there. Yeah. Mail at r a o podcast dot com. I'm about to go with this nigga talking about r a o p at gmail dot com. <laughs> that's not real. No, no, somebody already got that shit. Uh, we got, we Ooh, got, whoever got that, fuck them. Yeah, we got a real email. Let's hear it. Mail at our real podcast dot com. So why is there no Joe at our real podcast? Because he is mail at our. I don't, I don't slide off the tongue the same as R O A P. That's okay. But see, that's not what it is. Yeah, I was gonna say, wise men don't trust no <laughs> men. <laughs> And when the nigga I had put Blind a snippet, man, don't read no words. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. I might put Joe on that bit. Bro, I, man, that I could go. I could go Jafakin too. Hey, whatever pays the bill. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Hey, I'll be chief and like you know. Straight like up, Jafakin. I get a uh, Bob Marley tat, and I'm in there. You know what I'm saying? A tat? I think that's like initiation. No, it's not. Ain't no. I never seen a Jamaican. Yeah, I'm about to say, bro, what are you talking if you do about? that, <laughs> you're you officially a hippie. I'm talking about the white girl that be faking that shit. Oh, Every one of them got some kind of Bob Marley tattoo. You probably got a, a hat like one of them hats with dreads. Oh, yeah, I'm about to say <laughs> that, that hat would be say crazy. Fake ass dread. I shake that. Or that bit. one Bob Marley tee. <laughs> yeah, I shake it's, that. It's a bit. tank top. That's how you knew niggas went to World of Nations because they had that Bob Marley team. <laughs> that's that some Bob real Marley shit. Man, that's crazy. I thought that bitch came out the flea market. I should have knew better. <laughs> nah, bro. So my mom went every. She she still go every year. So uh, growing up, when I see niggas in that, I was like, oh yeah, I know where you went this week. Yeah, World of Nations. Did you ever, did you ever want one? Nah, I, ain't, I think I've been to World of Nations one time. You let your mom go dolo every time? No, 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 no. She had she had uh. People she went with her friends. Be, Mom ain't be you know that. <laughs> Alone. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Talk about mamas, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so man, speaking of mamas, mm-hmm. you got a girl? Yes. And y'all have I got three. I got three jits at the crib. Three girls? No, sir. Three jits. All right. One is a young man. Oh yeah. My youngest is a son. I Three forgot. Years. I forgot. My bad. It's okay. You fucking up, man. My bad, big dog. It's all right. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a goddamn. Yeah, them, I got my niggas at the crib, so see them every day. All right. They be they be um. That's that's a that's a struggle like with being an artist because it takes time. Like it's just like like I say, it's a business venture. It's any it's like any other thing that you have to commit to. And you know, the family come first, the house come first. So, music will be is on the back burner always. Yeah. Unfortunately, I got way more of this shit going on. And I mean, I wish I could be to where you know I got a motherfucker paying me to do the shit, but I didn't like that. So, that the family life is slow everything down. Like you got to really take that sacrifice if you want to be home every day and you really want to be active. You gotta take that sacrifice, like you know, fuck, fuck what I got going on, fuck what I want. Let me get this, let me get them where they need to be. So that'd be slowing me down. I swear to God, I'd be dropping up. That wild man to be coming out the mall for real. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch would be ready to drop. 
That shit hard, man. But I really appreciate that, yo. Yeah, nah. Um, you're a hell of a father. You know, I've been able to see that over the years. You know what I mean? Appreciate you. And um, I think that what you're doing, you know what I mean, is commendable with everything that you do juggle and to be able to, you know, still pursue your, your dreams, you know. So yes, sir. I definitely salute salute you. Thank you, man. I get it from niggas like Jay Z talking about, you know what I'm saying? Don't come. You got to really put that work in. Yeah, yeah. You nigga said it, so I'm going to go ahead and. I don't, I'd be like, yo, I'm putting so much work in, and it just seemed like I'm I'm going slow as fuck. But it be that it be that foundation that a nigga be building. That's it. Yeah. That should take too much time. That's it. Salute to that, cause these niggas out here with no kids, they ain't trying to do no kind nothing. of work. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Niggas don't right. want to do nothing. Yeah. Exactly. So, but I bet you they're coming this bitch with the little patches on, a little uh Gucci on. <laughs> yeah. This bit. That's why I gotta come in this bit dressed like a grown up man. I'm down at thirty. Yeah. You know what I'm so this shit ain't just for no no clout, no fun. Right, right. This shit is for the art. That's some real shit. Yes, yeah, sir. Real shit. Tell me, am I the, do I move this shit more than anybody? Cause I feel like I'll be moving that bitch back and forth. Y'all don't give a fuck about nothing. I mean, you <laughs> good, but <laughs> <laughs> but what, man? You know, you don't seem comfortable. I'm not. It's, uh, I, ain't I feel shit. like I'm interrogated. We, we yeah, don't, yeah, the spotlight on you. Yeah, yeah. Ain't too many rappers over six feet. I don't so. know. <laughs> ain't too many rappers over six feet. That's yeah, that's true. That is actually true. So you know, niggas, yeah, see, they be having man. complexes and shit. These niggas be, y'all niggas crazy, bro. I don't know that. They, like, I y'all think they could be trying too hard, bro. What you mean? I don't know. What you mean? I think tall niggas just don't have the ability to rap. I'm not talking about height oh, anymore. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm not oh, talking about height anymore. I'm talking oh, about rappers. <laughs> <laughs> if you tall, you suck, nigga. <laughs> no, nah, bullshit. Motherfucker always asking me to grab some shit at the grocery store. <laughs> I'll be so mad, bro. But I'll, just pull up. I'll be mad as fuck, bro. Please stop asking people to grab you shit. You, what would you do if I wanted to? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, this, yes. nigga, this nigga hype made a video yesterday because this nigga hype like six six. He said he get <laughs> mad every time he going somewhere and somebody be like, "Nigga, why you not in the NBA?" <laughs> Some nigga, bro. He every said, time. First of all, he said, first of all, I'm forty. What the fuck would I be in the NBA?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, nigga, that happens every time. They gonna ask you your whole history. What you, where you, where you, where you used to play? You ain't play? What? what nigga, that's funny. <laughs> this they need they ass beat, bro. For real. <laughs> no, like, nigga be needing they ass beat, bro. Why is you keep asking me, bro? I ain't, ain't nobody put me in the fucking basketball. They thought that nigga hype was finna sign the Tropic Thunder and shit. Yeah. Off rip. But it is a certain height. You be like, nigga, why you didn't play? Because I know some seven foot niggas right, that right. didn't hoop at all. I know a lot of, I know a lot of short it. people that wrestle professionally. Why the fuck you ain't wrestle? I'm asking every short nigga friend. Why you ain't rep, you ain't wrestle? <laughs> Old ass niggas. If they ask me that, I'm asking do they wrestle? <laughs> Did you wrestle? Little short ass. Why you ass. wasn't a jockey? Right. Right. What what didn't you do? Yeah, exactly. Horse riding that nigga put that. Right. <laughs> Don't come to me in the grocery store and then you tell me what I'm trying to. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you funny as hell. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So, like, bro, leave niggas alone, bro. Niggas just be asking people questions like, man, niggas just didn't want to do that when he Right, up. right. I ain't, I ain't had the option. Yeah, you then could. I, I had the headphones on just like this and that bitch, and they gonna still want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta think about it. only 4,000 4, people ever played in the NBA. Like, come on, yeah, that's, that's a little last number. That, bro. <laughs> like, dog, that's dog. like literally hitting the lottery. Like, it's, it's, niggas, it's millions seriously. of people over six foot in the goddamn world. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Sure, ridiculous. There's millions of people in, in a state over six feet. Exactly. <laughs> not in Florida. Right. Definitely yeah, not man. in Florida. They still don't make seats for us, so it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I don't blame nobody but Ikea. Hey, this ain't Ikea, though. Ikea's good. Yeah, Ikea makes some good-ass furniture. So where, 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 where this came from? I don't know, but this ain't Ikea. This, this ain't shit that. might be Ikea. He talking this shit. That. <laughs> Y'all put the bitch but together. this ain't that. Know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, you said who side you on, bro? I don't know, man. You just I thought, you I thought, side, side I thought, of the, I I'm thought, on a whoever right. I ain't on nobody's I mean, side. What's wrong with Ikea? Yeah, I, I got hella shit from Ikea. I'm on the right side of history. <laughs> yeah, cool, but don't be on the wrong side. 
All right, so you got your project dropping next week, man. Looking forward to that. Nah, yeah. You got any videos coming up? Nah, I ain't got no videos planned. See, I want to do... Um, Let me shoot your video, bro. Yeah, I need to start shooting videos. Yeah, man, I'm going to shoot that shit. The first RAOP production. You know, I had a little logo at the bottom of the video and shit. I ain't got no patience. Come on, right. If it's two weeks and a nigga asked for that video and I'm trying to grind, I might cuss <laughs> that nigga out. That'd be the hard part, bro. I swear, bro. People... That video, I, that, that music video shit, that shit <laughs> doo doo, bro. Yeah, niggas be niggas expect be expecting anything. Yeah, niggas. Like, you think I'm about to just go home day. and just, do, bro? I'm not even touching your shit for a week. Man. I'm busy. Straight yeah. up, that shit is hard work. I mean, I so, seen, I seen one of the niggas we had interviewed on here. He was like ranting and raving on his story, and he like added the video director. He's like, nigga, if you don't finish my video, I'm putting the iron on you. Oh, I'm shit. like, nigga, what the fuck going on, bro? See, niggas be chasing clout, bro. <laughs> He probably see what I said, but niggas be chasing clout, bro. I was like, bro, what's going on, bro? Just hit that nigga up and like, where the what's the That's ETA in the video? Bro? This is business, That's bro. Funny. That and that you can't come into the music industry, you know, not knowing business, not feeling like having a business mindset. You gonna come in a bit with, with a street mentality? I mean, niggas got to watch Genius again. That nigga Kanye went through hell trying to shoot his own video. I ain't see that. What's Genius? The Kanye video? The Kanye documentary on Netflix. Oh, no, that ain't what it's called, is it? Yeah, genius. It's spelled crazy, but it's spelled it's genius. It's spelled like with a J. Or you want me to spell how they got it hyphenated? No, sir. Okay. I mean, uh, that sounded out rather. So what happened on the, what happened there? What's the what's the He was just having a lot of difficulty. Like he wanted to get a couple extra shots and they basically cut him off before they could get them done. Yeah. Uh based on time and things like that. Then I think he waited like maybe two months for the video back anyway. But um, it was just a lot of little shit that was out of his control. You know what I mean? When you're doing shit locally, it's easier to, you know, place those demands on, try and place those demands on people because yeah. you feel like they're accessible. You know right. what I mean? But That's real. like you say, when you get into the industry, it's, you know, that shit impossible. You can't be talking to people about putting iron on them. <laughs> <laughs> that shit just don't even that don't even sound like it makes sense. Like, bro. It's just like, hey, at that point, <laughs> would you talk point, to your niggas, teacher like that? Like, you know better, bro. Right, just, right. You know better, bro. Like, bro that shit ain't got no. I'm like, nigga, I'm looking at this shit. I'm like, bro, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm just saying, niggas really. might not, uh, niggas might not want to work with you and shit after that. You know what I mean? You and might it, become blackballed. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah but yeah, niggas say he put the, he gonna put the iron. He's like, nigga, where our where our interview at? We are gonna put the iron on you. Yeah, I'm like, damn, I just deleted that shit, sir. You have to delete it. Not what I'm about to say too, like. That's why a lot of niggas in the city be mad because they be getting ran off on. Videographers been running off on niggas in the last couple of years. And I think, I talked to one videographer about it. He like, yeah, nigga, nigga really was trying me for no reason. I, like what I look like finishing right. this nigga video. So. Yeah. That's some real shit. Of course, of course you you say I'm gonna put the iron on. You think the nigga gonna still, he gonna, now he gonna send it to you today? I don't even know the fucking stuff. That's some dumb ass shit. Yeah, that's crazy. You ever had to deal with some nigga shit while I'm doing videos for rappers? Um. The worst shit is just niggas just basically trying to rush you or say, tell you, put your put a price on your shit, tell you how much it's worth or, oh, that's easy or do this or you should do this or, oh, what's like, you know what I'm saying? It's ma mainly just a nigga trying to rush you. And that's why I put my prices, I put my prices up high first quarter because I'm gonna give you good quality. You gonna, if a motherfucker don't wanna pay for it, I ain't dealing with it. Yeah. It's just, it's pretty simple, so. Yeah. And that's when I got into like the wedding industry and shit like that, they paying exactly what you ask. Yeah. You said I want two bands because for do all of this, then they going ain't no it's no way around it. So it just got to be a professional aspect. I want to reapproach. I I still do music videos and um I'm still booking, but I I haven't been advertising on them. But um I want to reapproach it in a more uh, professional manner to where nigga got to really book it on the internet and right. sign a contract and everything. So you know what I'm saying? Shit is what it is. Yeah. So. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah, cause niggas be all over the place. Even with this shit, I don't even, I don't even consider myself a video director. But a couple of the performers we did, niggas tried to rush. I was like, bro, I ain't even got the audio sync good on this shit good. Like, nigga, nigga you still didn't send even, it to me. You didn't like, even right. leak, lip your words well enough. <laughs> right, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, it be all kinds of shit. But. See, that's and that's the hard part too. Like, it's so many aspects to to, to doing this shit and, cre and and creating. Like, even as the artist. First of all, you came in this bit. You ain't you ain't had your rehearsal down. You don't know how to, to perform your own song. 
That's, you know, that's that's one aspect that, that that's easily overlooked. Damn, I ain't even practiced my shit. I went in there and I punched in these, all these bars and just thought of some random shit right there on the spot. And now I don't even know my song. Motherfuckers don't even be knowing their song. That shit be crazy. I know my shit, dude. Yeah, I figured that's eventually was gonna happen with the punch in there, like niggas. Yeah, I'm like bro, how you even remember that shit for real, for real? You gotta, I mean, you gotta, you gotta start listening. You, you record it and then you listen to your shit for three, or four days and remember your own shit like it's a new nigga song or some shit. All right. Like, damn, that was hard. I don't shit. I'm raw. Niggas do, niggas do be sliding on that punch and shit. I really be. I've been wanting to, to to book a studio session and just go punch in some shit, but I just, I ain't, I don't want to waste my time like that. That shit made me anxious. Yeah, I do like a couple of the punch in flows, but I'll be feeling sorry for the engineer. I was like, Dang, <laughs> I think your engineer is in hell right now. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's true. I, but I, I feel like all I don't, I don't know what drill music is. I had Googled that shit. It said violent music, but I think drill music is just like that that basic rap to where you you write in line for line. So when you write on a piece of paper, the last word wrong with this last word. And I feel like that what drill music is like. You just line for line. Mm. No, like every bar is. Well, yeah, for, technically, drill music is the the subject matter. A lot of people think it's like the sound. Mm-hmm. Cause like a lot of people hear like the new shit where they do like the sped up sample and, shit, and, and they yeah. think that's a drill song. But drill is just basically the genre. So it's like once you just once you you could be rapping over like an old ass like Kanye soul sample. Yeah, but once you say something about oh I put this nigga on a t shirt that make it a drill song. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah. I guess I got some drill songs then. I guess, unfortunately. Oh yeah. damn. You, Never mind. I was about to ask an incriminate question. Never mind. Yeah, this ain't Vlad TV. I've never. <laughs> God, dress. Yeah, I don't really give a fuck what a motherfucker think or know or assume. Yeah. Yes, I am that. I am this nice young <laughs> fella. Well, yeah, man. Um, what you got next? Uh, as far as uh promotion for the project. Yeah, I wanna um what I really wanna do is um compose a live set of from the from the project mm-hmm. and get a band to play it. And um I wanna release that as video and audio. I probably put it on all platforms, but mainly the video is what it's gonna be a, a live performance with a band. So I just gotta um I gotta bring that to life. See, it's kinda hard because like I said, this is kinda old. I might not do much I might not do I might not even accomplish that and I might just keep moving forward and pushing what come next because um, I'm working on a, a seven song mixtape right now that I want to get out by, I want to get that bitch up by October. So I really got to, you know what I'm saying? I really don't got much time to do much. Like I said, I got a, I got some, um, I got an animated video that should be coming out within the next couple of days just to um, announce the release. Um, yeah, I don't got, I'm not doing much promotion. I'll probably put some money behind it. All right. If that law, if that, if that law video come to, come into action, that shit, I got it. I mean, I got to do it. Yeah. Once I say I got to do it, I I, I got to do that shit. I feel that. Yeah, man. Been in there bit for fifty-two minutes. I feel like when you just start talking, I thought you was trying to wrap it up on me the way and say, "Well, well then." I mean, what what yeah. else you got to promote? Talk to us. Yeah, yeah. We was about to wrap it up because we only do these okay, about fifty yeah, minutes. Yeah, so yeah. I, mean, I, I felt it. That's what I'm saying. I felt yeah, it. Yeah. Now, I think we. I think we. Um. I think we touched on everything. That I got going, man. Yeah. yeah, once you get the project out, then we could yeah. do a part two. Uh, I know you want to talk like you done dropped the Grammy album already, but you know it come it out next week. So it we ain't can, even mixed. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's all premixes on our bit. It's, it's not Grammy. <laughs> but but nah, I'm bullshitting. Um uh we definitely, you know, wanted you to come through and be able to talk about the project. You know what I'm saying? I think that you got a lot of great songs on there for sure. I told you that beforehand and um you know we we played one that's a banger like that one I feel like it's undeniable that ain't and on then, the album <laughs> yeah yeah it ain't on the that's album but down. just 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 to show your ability you know what I mean and then uh you know we're gonna get your live performance so um all right, all right. yeah man let the people know where they can find you at you know and uh where they can get the project that's the name of the project again you know right, what I mean right. go ahead and plug your shit yeah y'all can um Y'all can find me anywhere, Omar Black. Or ah, uh, damn, I'm tripping. You know your name? I don't even know who I am. <laughs> I, I, be, I be different characters. I might not even be Omar Black. A nigga done told me. A nigga had told me he was like, about to they be gonna a transformer change. again. That's you. <laughs> That's definitely you. 
Them shoes look like they turn to um, a Camaro. Oh, that's what you do. <laughs> them bitches turn to a Camaro off rip. That's what you do. Shit, they turn yours into damn furniture, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's that good genuine leather. Hey, <laughs> but what about bottles would be a wooden chair, nigga. <laughs> but um, now nah, I was uh, a nigga had told me. Nigga said they gonna think you sold just sold to the devil if you drop that that um that depths of hell. That nigga Omar Black is a, a character, nigga. This nigga. How how can Omar Black sell his soul? This nigga don't got no soul. This nigga is a made up fictional being. I'm, you said my real name when I walked in this bit. Right. You don't even know me as Omar. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> hey man, look, let's let's perform Depths of Hell today. Depths of Hell. I did not sell my soul, but I might as well, you know what I'm saying? But look <laughs> <laughs> That's in the song. But look, um, y'all can find me anywhere. Google I'll be telling motherfuckers, Google me. Google me, it'll take you to everything. Omar B L K. One word. Google that shit. Check it in all platforms. Check it on YouTube. I got a little link in my bio on Instagram. Just type that shit in. It's gonna take you to my Instagram, everything. Omar B L K. B L K. Dyslexic. I am dyslexic. I don't know if I'm supposed to laugh at that. That's not actually that's that's not Damn, funny. Damn, it's dyslexic awareness week right now. You know? <laughs> Man, shut up. <laughs> hey, y'all tapping all this shit. Omar Black with all that said, we out. <laughs>